Jesus' mighty name, we worship. In Jesus' name, we worship. We're moving to the time of prayer now. And I want us to think back how the Lord has wrought mighty miracles in your life. How the Lord has brought you to where you are right now. This morning, we're talking about higher ground. God has moved us from level to level. Even though we are praying for higher level, but remember where God brought you from. And I want you to think deep and begin to thank the Lord this morning. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. I did not get here by my power. I'm not among those that I'm boast that I'm self-made. You helped me all along. When I look over my shoulder, all I see is your goodness. All I see is your hand walking with me, lifting me up, presenting me where I could not even present myself, calling out my name where nobody need me, knew me. Daddy, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for where you have brought me from to where I am today. It's all you, Lord. It's none of my power. It's none of my effort. It is you, purely you. And I've returned this morning to appreciate you, Lord, to say thank you. Daddy, I'm grateful for the level you have brought me. Where I am is a prayer point, prayer point for many right now. I'm, and I'm grateful that you have brought me this far in life. Lord, I am grateful. I ascribe all the glory to you. I ascribe all the honor to you. It's all about you, Lord. I'm just the one in the forefront. Everyone know and I know myself that it is you behind me. You are my strength. You are my strong tower. You are the one that lift me up. You are the one that raised me up. You lift up my head. I am grateful, Lord. I am grateful. I will not be ignorant of the fact that many can boast in their own power. But I boast in your name because you are the, all the help that I receive. I am grateful, Father. Glory be to you. Blessed be your holy name forever. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. This morning, we're going to pray on three things. <clears throat> we know the story of Joseph, how God was with him and moved him from one situation to another situation. But one thing that is common with those situations he found himself was that it was a progression. It wasn't going down, but it was moving higher in levels, higher in levels. And I want us to quickly read the scripture, Genesis 39, verse 2 to 3. Genesis chapter 39, verse 2 and 3. And the scripture says, And the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man. And he was in the house of his masters, the Egyptian. And his master saw. I want you to pay attention to the fact that the master saw. It was evident in his life. What was evident? That God was with him. Thank you. That God was with him. That the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. We should notice that it says that his master can see it's not hidden and what it, his master said that everything he touched turned to gold not because of his effort but be, because of the God that was with him I want you to lift up your voice this morning Father please let your presence be evident in my life and favor me before men and before authorities let your presence be evident in my life let men see that indeed God is with me by the virtue of all you will be doing in me, by the virtue of all you will be using me to do, that you may move me up, that you may lift me up, that you may help me up. In the name of Jesus, your presence is what matters. I want you, Lord, to prove your evidence in me by lifting me up and let men see undeniable upliftment that men will testify that this is truly you at work. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, our rock. We give you all the praise. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we pray. I want us to quickly flip our Bible also to Matthew 20, from verse 26 to 28. 
Jesus Christ was talking to his disciple here and he was asking them, whoever among you wants to be great, let him serve. God lift us in place of service and that's what we're going to pray this morning. We want to move to the higher level but there's a requirement, serve the Lord and we're going to ask for strength. The, the David testified of Jesus and Jesus himself said it. The, the disciple noticed in Jesus. The Jesus didn't say it. The disciple noticed it and they remember what David said about Jesus that the zeal of your father has consumed you. He said the zeal of, they saw how passionate he was when he saw people trading in the temple. They said the zeal of the father has consumed him and David has already talked about this in the psalm and I want us to pray this morning. So, that God grant me the grace, the zeal, the yearning to serve you with all that I am and all that I have in the name of Jesus. I know you, you reward service. I know you are rewarder of them that diligently seek you. Father, grant me the grace. On my own, I'm too weak to, to meet all the requirements of service for you. But if you grant me the grace, Lord, I will serve you. Grant me the grace and the strength, the zeal, the health, the, the yearning to serve you in the name of Jesus. With all that I am, with all that I have, with all my soul, all my strength, in the name of Jesus. Give me the grace, give me the, the zeal, give me the strength in the name of Jesus. Father, help me to serve you, help me to serve you, help me to serve you more, to put more effort, to put more time into fellowship with you. In the name of Jesus, thank you, mighty God. Glory and honor we return unto you. In Jesus' name we pray. And finally, I want us to pray as a church. We have been moved, praying and talking to the Lord about moving us from where we are. In fact, God wants us to progress. Many scriptures back this up. But I want us to hear what uh, Moses told the Israelites in Genesis chapter 1 verse 6 because he needed them to hear is to let them know this is the will of God and as a, as a congregation he reminded them that God told them and God said let there be a Genesis chapter 6 verse 1 sorry chapter 6 verse 1 Genesis 6 verse 1 and it came to pass this is not the scripture I'm looking for. So sorry, Deuteronomy 1 verse 6. Deuteronomy 1 verse 6. Not Genesis, sorry. Deuteronomy 1 verse 6. And the Lord our God spake unto us in Horeb, saying, Ye have dwelt long in this mount. You have stayed here too long. And that's what we want to remind God this morning. You want progress of your church. And we want to cry to him this morning concerning the legacy building. It is, that's our next level. That is next higher ground God wants to take us. And we want to pray as a church this morning. Lord, open doors of opportunity unto us concerning the legacy building. Favor us, O oh Lord, that you bring men, you bring favor, that you bring people that you're going to use to move us there. Create situation that will move us there. That door, two doors of open, two doors, two leaf door will open unto us on their own accord. That we will walk through our upliftment in the name of Jesus. Move us from here to the next level. Move us from here to the next level. That in no time, let the shout of thanksgiving begin to rain down from here unto you. That you have moved us indeed. That is, you have moved us indeed. That you move us, oh Lord. Because you want us to move from glory to glory. This is where we are. We are grateful. But Lord, we are saying according to your word, just like Moses said to the Israelites, that we have been here too long. Father, we are looking to the next level. We are convinced and we know that you are more than able. Lord, take us there. Move us, oh Lord. Send help, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we give you praise. We appreciate you for everything you have done. All that you have done in the past and all that you are doing right now. Even from the beginning of this service to now, it has been by your grace and we have, we have evidence 
that you are here in our midst because your word says so and because we know so and we thank you thank you for answering our prayer as we have presented our case we have presented our situation we have called upon your name and you have promised that you you will hear us when we call in faith daddy answer us in the name of jesus let the evidence of your answer come quickly according to your will and in your own way in the name of jesus thank you our lord in jesus name we pray amen in jesus name we pray amen praise the lord hallelujah good morning church